So I tried Betfair Trading. A Betfair Trading, I just want to preface this video in the first 10 or 15 seconds by saying Betfair Trading is extremely, extremely difficult. Now the concept of Betfair Trading is very, very simple, which I'm going to explain exactly what it is in a minute. What's actually difficult about it is the psychological aspect of it and understanding your own emotions and things like that, which is super, super, super difficult, which I'm going to dive into in this video. So what is Betfair Trading? Well, Betfair Trading is essentially trading odds movement and trading price on the exchange. Now, it works in a very, very similar way to how you would trade a financial stock market and things like that. The difference being you're not using, um, you know, you're not buying into, buying into stocks and shares, you're buying and selling betting odds. Now, the general concept is if you back at a higher price, then you lay out, so you buy at a high price and you sell out, which is obviously inverted from uh, you know financial markets just because of the way the odds work. If you back at a higher price and you lay out, you are you net a free bet profit, and then you have the choice to hedge that free bet profit across all the different outcomes in that sporting event. So whether it be a horse race or a football match, whatever it is, you have the choice to take it as a free bet or hedge the profit across all the outcomes, basically. So what I did a while back is actually purchase some Betfair trading software. BetAngel was the one that I went with. I'm a big fan of it. I love how you can customise everything. I've got it all set out rather nicely on my computer screens, exactly how I want it to be. And then I started trading with it. I started messing around, doing all sorts of crazy things with it. I hadn't got a clue what I was doing. It was pretty comical. Some of the old videos I've got where I'm just placing bets all over the place like some sort of crazy maniac. Not got a clue what I'm doing. Um, and that lasted for a while. I wasn't really invested in it. I just sort of did it on a whim here and there. Um, but about six months ago, I sort of was liking the concept of it. And I really kind of wanted to give it a try and wanted to see if I could crack it and see if I could build a few strategies which would give me a profitable edge. So about six months ago, I decided to track all the results I got, whether it be a profit or whether it be a loss. Record every horse race that I traded on because I'm doing pre-off horse racing predominantly and just see where I was going right where I was going wrong and try and cut out the, the big losses I was taking and try and just remove those big losses. So what I thought I would do in this video is I thought I would show you the information that I've collected so far and the data that I've collected so far and let you know exactly how I've done in my first six months of serious Betfair trading. Okay, so I've just switched over to my computer screen and I've got the data up that I've been collecting from the, the markets I've been trading. So you can see the number of markets I've been trading so far is 347. And of those 347 markets, I've won on 199 of them. And I've also lost on 148 of them. And the strike rate between the two is uh, 57%. So obviously, certainly not an amazing strike rate. 5.7 out of 10 markets I'm winning on. It's not absolutely terrible. And I'm guessing a lot of people do a lot worse than that. But I certainly want to improve on that. Um, when I win, my average win is about 36 or 37p. And when I lose, my average loss is about 59p. So you can see I'm winning slightly more markets than I'm losing. But when I do lose, I, win, I lose more than I when I win, basically. Uh, and based on all that information, my overall profit is minus 21. So obviously, I'm not profitable. I have no form of edge in the market as of yet. Um, and I'm down £21. Now, it's only £21. It's obviously next to nothing. Um, but I'm down £21 because I'm using really small stakes, so like £5 and, and £10 stakes, just based on the, the market that I'm looking at and the, the way I feel about it and the amount of risk I want to take in, in that market. So you can see here at the top, I've actually made a graph which goes all the way down to 1,000 markets or near enough 1,000 markets. So what I plan to do is, is I plan to do a 1,000 markets and just see over time whether I become better at what I'm doing or whether I just stay the same or get worse um but yeah you can see at the start here i was just completely had no regard whatsoever for what i was doing i was having big massive wins but then my losses were completely out of control even in relation to the big wins i was having because i had no regard for the, the risk i was taking and stuff like that i wasn't really concentrating on what i was doing um and then i would blame other factors when when it would go wrong uh, which obviously wasn't the case it was me not being able to cut out for a loss and not being able to identify when things were going wrong and various different uh, reasons around around that um so that went on for a while winning and losing i thought i was getting better at one point but the, obviously the data shows i really wasn't i think it got to around this point somewhere around here where i was like i've really got to try and understand why i'm going wrong why i'm taking these big losses and then i really have to try and mitigate them and try and get them out or really minimize these losses that I'm taking. So what I started doing is that, well, basically I made a folder on my computer and made a load of subfolders within that folder 
of each of the individual race types that there are. So obviously I've got uh, group one, group two, group three races, handicap races, listed, conditional, sell stakes, maiden, novice, nursery. Uh, so I've basically made a folder for each of the different race types. I've also got a folder called big losses, which uh, I put any big losses I get into that folder so I can go back and identify where I went wrong and why I went wrong. And basically I class a big loss as uh, a loss, anything above my average loss. Uh, and then a folder for not traded, so I've made a folder there when I'm on a market and I can't see anything so I don't trade it. And I've made that folder so I can go back and reanalyze it and see if I see something, you know, weeks and months down the line as hopefully I improve, you know. So yeah, if I go into handicap, you can see within each of the folders that I've made, I've also made two subfolders, so win and loss, so I can identify what I'm doing right when I win. And if I go into the loss folder, I can also identify what I'm doing wrong when I lose, and I can see where I go right most commonly and where I go wrong most commonly in different race types. So I've got that. Uh, if I jump back to this, and with all that being said, I'm still negative, I'm still not profitable, I still have no edge. Uh, with what I'm doing. So what am I doing to try and improve? So as I've just said there, I'm recording lots and lots of videos of every race I trade and trying to identify where I go wrong, specifically where I go wrong significantly. And really, I'm trying to mitigate the big losses at the moment. I'm trying to focus predominantly to one strategy, which is catching a steamer or catching a horse. What's coming in, I'm not doing it specific on one, one runner or one ladder, I'm doing it across uh, four ladders I've got on my screen. Uh, and I'm just digesting as much content as I possibly can, what's available on YouTube and certain popular forums within within the Betfair trading community. Um, the two big channels I'm following is the first one's Bet Angel, Peter Webb's channel. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know Peter Webb, he's been trading for a long, long period of time. I think he started trading in the early 2000s, something like that. He's very successful at what he does and he's very knowledgeable at Betfair trading as well. I think I've literally watched hundreds of his videos just trying to digest as much information as I possibly can from him because he really is that knowledgeable when it comes to trading. He also owns Bet Angel as well, which is the, the trading software I've got installed on my computer. The other channel that I watch pretty religiously is Kern Berry's channel. If you don't know Kern Berry, he's also a very successful Betfair trader as well. He's got lots of you know good content on his YouTube channel. He's got a course which I've which I've watched as well. And he also does some pretty good interviews what usually come out on a Friday night and they're usually a good watch with insiders within the betting industry. So those two channels, I'm trying to digest as much content as I possibly can from them. But ultimately, the main thing I'm doing is I'm just trying to get as much screen time and as much time just stirring at the screen, trying to understand different correlations and different patterns and why a certain ladder at a certain price moving out impacts a, a certain ladder at a certain price moving in. I'm just trying to understand and get as much market knowledge as I possibly can is, um, is what I'm trying to say there. Um, so what do you guys think? Have you tried Betfair trading yourself? Have you been successful at it? Are you know, profitable? Do you have an edge? Have you tried it and, and you fail miserably? Please do let me know down below in the comments. I'm very intrigued to see what other people's journeys are within Betfair trading. I know a lot of my viewers who watch this channel, who obviously have, have done match betting or are doing match betting, also try Betfair trading or also do Betfair trading. So I am interested in seeing what you guys have to say down below in the comments. And yeah, that wraps up this video. If you want to see some match betting related content from me, there's two videos I'll pop up on screen now. Feel free to watch away. Cheers for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you soon in the next video.